Alright, welcome back. And I guess I should start this video with an apology for the last chapter. You can tell how much fun I have doing this stuff. I just created a 29 minute video. What was I thinking? Uh, clearly I wasn't. Alright, so let's see if I can keep track of time a little bit better here. We're going to continue adding parcels and we are going to, wherever we create a road parcel, we are going to be changing that type and style to a road styles and locating that dot to where we can find it in the future. Alright, so let's go ahead and start using our parcel tools. Here we go. Parcel from objects and I'm going to go get, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to get myself in trouble here. Uh, this parcel might be tricky, but let's see. I need to activate my viewport. Alright, got it parcel from objects and the only thing I need to select is one two because remember this is already a parcel this is a parcel segment and this whole left side is a parcel segment so helpful to always keep in mind what is and isn't press enter and right once we're creating the same style it's just here's my site done okay done and it works just fine Let's continue moving on. Uh, actually, let's go do this one. So let's see. I'm going to create my parcel around the edge and then the inside next. So here are three outlines, outline, and my last object, press OK, done, and here is this road parcel. I'm going to deal with this immediately because I don't want it um, getting confused later. And so by the way, I can change it right here. So road property and my label style right here looks a little quicker, road property. It's a dot, and I'm going to move this dot just kind of right over here. And unfortunately, I'm going to click Undo. Undo. Kind of annoyed why I didn't get a line on the other drag. Apparently, I did. Huh. Not sure what's going on. So I am going to come back to this road property label style and make sure that in the dragged state, the leader is going to be false somewhere. Leader, visibility, false. Apply OK, and my leader's gone and I just have a little dot sitting right there. Quite frankly, someone who doesn't know what it is will think it's a, a like swatted flea on the piece of paper. Okay, so now I'm going to use these four internal lines and divide this property two up into four pieces of property. So parcel objects, one, two, done, done done. And let's see, let's do something that's, uh, let's see, what is practical next? I guess let's do this in cased area here. So objects, I'm going to get the outside And I'm going to need to select this. And let's see what am I going to get. I'm going to get a parcel out here, and this parcel in here, and that's it. Click OK, and here's my obnoxious parcel. So I select it, change it to road property, road property, and I'm happy continue on and now I'm going to divide parcel 3 into these four objects 
parcel from objects. And notice I'm trying not to go in too big of steps. Couple reasons. One is I I really want to comprehend exactly how Civil's dividing this one step at a time. And two, if I create too many parcels at once, it's actually kind of tough to know which is a road property and which is something else. Okay, so I'm going to go back and use my AutoCAD just a little bit and I'm going to draw an individual line right here so that I can divide this land from this land. So let's see, I've already got my lots layer active and I'm going to simply draw a line, find my quadrant snap or midpoint, make sure I come straight up to perpendicular, got it, and I'll do that down in this side over here as well. And I will be ready then to create, I believe, the rest of my parcels. Okay. All right, so parcel creation tools from objects. I'm going to need to get this here, 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 and I need to select this little three foot long line. Apparently I can't do that, finally have it. And so here's kind of a big outline, and now I'm going to do a crossing selection of everything in here. I'm just going to get five or six new parcels. Done. Um, and I think it's time that I turn you loose. I think I'm going to close this section and do this offline. I'm hoping then that you can also do the same thing. And we will then have finished our outside site, our alignments, and our individual lot parcels. Hope this is helpful in adding clarity and look forward to seeing you in the next section.